You found a new artifact. I did. Another story for Teeks. The Cerulean Expedition. Yes. This one is special. It's an adventurer's log. Might want to take some notes. Joss's log, Cerulean Expedition Day 1. I wasn't expecting to feel fear so early on. To think we might just happen upon her, the queen that was. Still, she needs to be found, lest she get the jump on Rapine. Rapine. Even the sunken moon knows we've suffered enough from her betrayal as is. Three teams we are. The other two are led by Brochu and Elby. Plan goes like this. Each team has a series of four directions to explore. Four directions, four days. After which we backtrack for another four and compare notes. Brochu's team is trying northeast, southeast, south, then northwest. Oh, I should be writing this down. Okay. LB's team is going southwest, south, southwest, then east. Okay. As for my team, we're doing north, east, northeast, then south. Joss's log, Cerulean Expedition Day 9. Well, I'll be damned. It was obvious once I took a second look at the notes. Brochu said it felt right for the first two days, but then something was amiss. Elby recounted feeling lost the whole time, save for day four, where everyone had more spring in their step. As for me, I was right. Day three was truly special. That speedball ought to lead to her throne, but it lost power like all the others, so there ain't no way forward. Seeing as I lost my entire team getting there, so there ain't a way back either. That's it for me, I guess. If you're reading this, you must have found my belongings. Well then, let it be known. Joss was here. The end. Oh, that's so cool. So we can figure we can figure out where that is. Yeah. Teek no, Teeks told us. Let's uh maybe we do that. Let's go ahead and to the Cerulean Expanse. Oh, we're so fast, dude. We're just, like zooming. Wow. Oh, that's so cool. Alright, so. I have my notes here. We have Brochu went northeast, southeast, south, northwest. LB, the third day, found something. So, the directions that we want to go are going to be, let's see. We want to go, all right, we want to go northeast for sure. And then... Uh, southeast, right? Because that was the good directions. Uh, northeast again. Whoop, the probes are responding. Yeah, enemies! Dope. What is the most annoying ability in the game, and why is it... Wait, what level? We're level 19. Okay, we still have quite a bit of a ways to go before level 20. Uh, what is the most annoying ability in the game, and why is it Hex Shields? Alright, and then... Now that we're on the last... I think we just go east here. And that should be the correct directions to the speed... Yeah! Alright! So we can use this speedball. Destination unknown. Threat level high. Are you sure you wish to proceed? Apps a forking lootly. For Sarai. Think of what Sarai's done for us, you know? <laughs> Throne of the Queen that was. I know we're taking a little bit of a detour here, friends, to do all of the side things, but you know what? That's just an artful gambit, a relic. A mystical and dangerous relic for the daring own- Whoa! HP minus 95%. Enemies are invincible while casting. Timed blocks reduce damage to one. Timed hits bonus damage times two. Oh, so basically I use that and I just die. Good to know. Okay. Oh, rainbow conch though. All right, so that brings our total now to 
58. I think there's 60 in the game, so that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and rest here. All right, are we ready? Do we want to turn this on? Let's turn it on for funsies. Artful gambit. gambit. All right, if we're going to go into this fight with what we have, then we're going to make sure that we have the most damage that we can with those. We're going to have the HP doesn't matter, right? So we can do... Neither does defense. So we don't have to worry about any of that. We can do... Um, skills cost one less MP. Or give enchanted scarf so he does more damage. I think we just do... And then she can have... She doesn't need Shimmering Shard. I think we just give her plus five magic attack. Actually, we should give... We'll give Sarai the um, Signet of Clarity. Or Sean could just have the Enchanted Scarf. And we don't really need to worry about anything else, right? So let's do it. We got the Artful Gambit turned on. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do here. We know how good I am with the timing, so I'm sure this will go fine. I don't see her. This is it. The throne of the queen that was. Hmm. She's not here then. Is she that machine thing? Oh, she's here, all right. Are you ready? On your mark. What? Oh, but what? Oh. Why? Why is she kind of hot? Just kidding. Just kidding. Okay, so we can... Oh, but it reduces... Oh. Gun goddess and then bullets. Okay, first of all, this is just dope. But, like, what? Well, let's go ahead and sunball. <laughs> I mean, it'll hit everything, so... That didn't do much damage because, you know... Uh, I feel like Lunar Shield is going to be very important here. Why don't we... Uh, why don't we go ahead and Lunar Shield so that I don't die immediately? Hey, I got the timing of Lunar Shield. It's actually really easy. Oh, that sucks. All right, that one's hard to do. Oh! Oh no! Sarai! Who would have thought you died? Huh. All right, we're going to swap to Rashan. We do... I can't do dash strike here. They're invincible while doing it. That's right. Fan the hammer. All right, I actually survived that. Whoa, okay. Huh. We do have an ultimate, but we don't want to use that while it is... Yeah, we don't want to use an ultimate while it's using... Because we have the Artful Gambit on, right? The shot. Oh my gosh. Whoa, okay. That was dope. Yeah, let's go ahead and hit with the ult, uh, her ult, Luana's might Actually, probably should have used, that's okay. Probably should have used Rashan's because it's so good. Woo! That's so cool, though. The bullets just keep coming back. It doesn't feel like it matters about breaking this lock, to be honest with you. Oh, 
Oh, it's so fast though. Ah, I was like, it was a gamble. Oh shit. All right, can we take what is potentially the toughest fight in the entire game with, with Artful Gambit on? Let's find out today on Sea of Stars. Importantly, I think we're gonna switch to Sarai here to get a good disorient off. This way, just giving us a little bit more time to break the lock. I could get away with the Moonerang here. It kind of sucks trying to get it with these bullets too, but hey, all we need to do is hit it once and we'll be just fine. Okay, that wasn't bad. And break that lock, perfect. We're gonna go ahead and actually let's attack with Sarai so that we can get more MP up for her. All right, Valir, let's go ahead and use, we can use uh, Arcane Moons here actually so that we can do damage to the bullets too. All right, we got a big one here. We need to attack with, we need one of those. And we need poison. Perfect. We can use Moonerang. Moonerang needs to hit three times though. So I have to go through, that's a lot. We swap Sarai. She can use Disorient again. And then we can use a boost on Zale. And then Valir can also use boost. Perfect. And then we're going to combo. Let's do Moonshiv. Yeah. Three hundred and four. Let's go. Now we could hit again with a big ultimate, but we're gonna wait in case the bullets come back. Woo! God, that attack is so scary. All right, so this is another big lock. We're not gonna be able to do anything. And in fact, I don't think we should. I think we should just take this attack, honestly. Uh, let's go ahead and give that shrimp to Valir so she can do what she needs to do again. And then I think we just sunball here. It doesn't totally matter. Uh, let's dash strike for, yeah. Dang. Maybe should have sunballed. All right, so it doesn't matter because this is with Artful Gambit on. This is going to. Oh, we did. Oh, I did it. Yes. Okay, that's actually not too hard to do. And then now I think we just use the ultimate. We just use Valir's ultimate. Luana's might retribution. The only move she has, the, the gun goddess has, that I'm afraid of is fan the hammer. Uh, not fan the hammer, spread shot. Because the, the timing on blocking that feels tough. All right, bullets are gone. Sunball to the face. We'll do a disorient. And then we can do another attack with Zale. 
And then we'll Lunar Shields. Nice. Not that it really matters, but... Work on getting her MP back. Same for... Zale. And same for Valir. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I think we just keep... How many... Got three. Yeah, let's do it. We can use Solstice Strike again if we wanted to, but I think we're actually better off here just doing... I think we do another Lunar Shields. Just so this way the... Yeah, in case it's that attack, we'll be fine. All right, cool. And then we... I could combo. Nah, we sunball. And then we disorient. We can. So if I swap to. Hang on. I need to swap to Rashawn. And then we can use um, Arcane Moons here. Really, really hoping we could... Let's swap to Zale. All right. I see I missed it on... Oh, she's got one turn, so actually we just leave that. We could abeyance here. <laughs> Actually, if we <laughs> let's uh if we swap him to boost. We just need to hit with Arcane again, which we can do with another abeyance here. Nice. And then we use her ultimate yet again. Luana's Might Retribution. Three hundred thirty eight bullets are gone. Hmm. We can elbow drop two. Nice. Hundred and fifty seven. And then we need to swap to Sarai. We can attack. We attack with Valir again. And then... Ah, shoot. I was hoping Sarai would be able to do another move. Uh-oh. Welp. I wish some of this... Two hundred and sixteen. Oh shit. Oh my god, yes! Okay, so it's like right when her guns cross is when we do it. Alright, disorient here. And we just need her to get 
We can Arcane Moons here, which is more damage on the... Yeah, let's see if we can do this. Power Smash. Yeah, why not? Got it. Let's do a big sunball to the face. Oh, she's looking like she's hurting. All right, Sarai. Shoot, she can't. Uh, I was hoping Sarai would be able to. All right, we destroyed the bullets. Oh, shit. Okay. I guess there's, like, odd timing. Oh, fork. I can use a parfait. I'm gonna have to use a parfait on her. We obviously don't want to use... Yeah, we actually don't want to use... I think we just take the hit, you know? I mean, we could swap to Rashawn, who can use Abeyance. And unfortunately, Sarai won't be able to do anything. I think we just need to attack to get more MP back. We could do... I could do a... Arcane Moons. Doesn't really matter. I think we just attack. Uh... Yeah. She needs MP back. Alright, target... It's not... Galir. Damn. Oh, good! All right, and we got it. All right, so now, all right, here's the deal. Here's what we're going to do, friends. We have an ultimate. We have combos. We're going to do... Oh, jeez. What do we want to do? Why don't we use our... Let's boost. We're going to boost. We're going to use an ultimate. We're going to use Bist. His altered Bist. Are we about to win? Or are we about to defeat the gun goddess? That move is so cool. All right, and but we're not done because now we're gonna use, we can do Bottle Punch or Arcane. Nope, I got a better idea. Moon Shiv. Come on, this is it. Sarai, save your people. Oh, that wasn't enough. Dude, if this doesn't, if basically, like, if anything we do here doesn't kill. Oh, there it is! And we get the Better Off Dead trophy! Goodbye, Gun Goddess. 16,000 experience. With Artful Gambit on. I had another relic, too, that I want to... We'll go over my build for that, but damn! At long last, she paid the price for her betrayal. Thank you, my friends. You got it. Famous Daggers of Legend detected amidst the rubble. Recommended action. Loot and equip. Hell yeah, Cedric. Oh, yeah. I could use those. And we get the star shards. Nothing left for us here. Lead the way. Oh, did we just get the best? 
Legendary daggers crafted from the tears of a fallen monarch. Plus 13 attack, plus 6 magic attack. Sarai now has her best equipment. The star, or her best weapons anyways. The star shards. That's dope. Oh, I can't wait to see what they look like. Goodbye, gun goddess. All right. Let's go over my build real quick. I think I showed it off, but just in case. Uh, I did, I took a few attempts, um, and I just I kept screwing up the timing on that uh, spread shot that she does. So I actually turned on. So we have Artful Gambit on. We have Double Edge, so they take more damage when they're not casting locks. And then I also had... Um, Sixth Sense. Uh, so uh, there's a 35% chance to block incoming attacks. It's just a safety layer. Uh, in case I miss the timing on that attack, it wouldn't just ruin the whole run. So, um, you could do that. I mean, that's, you know, but we're gonna, we're gonna turn those, turn those off for now. Because it kind of feels like cheating with the thing. Like, it still makes it way harder, don't get me wrong. But it still, it still feels kind of like cheating. I would definitely recommend, I'll probably do a video on how to get the Artful Gambit. Uh, there is a trophy for defeating 10 enemies with, or 10 bosses, I should say, with the Artful Gambit equipped. So keep that in mind. Thanks again for the help. It's good to know my people will be safe. Yup, and they will be. Let's go. At, let's leave the Cerulean Expanse. Does it matter where we go? And then there should be a thing in the center. Oh. Oh, I have no idea how to get out. Well. There we go. Okay, it is this way. Easy peasy. Well, I think we still have some time this episode. We've done what we can in... Rapine? We've done everything we can. I mean, potentially. Cerulean Island still has a treasure left in Rapine. Well... Let's see what that is. All right. Maybe there was something... I feel like we checked out here, but... Maybe I missed something. Or maybe the treasure is now that we've defeated the gun goddess. Maybe they'll, uh... Talking to people will give us stuff. Oh, I know what we... The data strips. That's what it is. And we don't have, we don't have all of the data strips yet. Yeah, so we can't do anything with that. All right, let's boogie out. It wants us to go to the Fleshmancer's lair to defeat the Fleshmancer, but we're not doing that. We got too much, we got too much to do here, friends. We're going to, man, I don't know, where are we going? Where are the data strips? Okay. Well, uh, maybe we'll find it. Can we do... Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Nice. All right, well, let's go to our home world. We have more solstice shrines to do. Two more, in fact. <laughs> 